Today I have a video for you guys on the new iPad. So here we have the new iPad. Uh, the uh, keynote was today. On um, today is Wednesday, March the seventh, two thousand twelve. Uh, you can watch the TV ad for it right here. Um, they have another iPad video here, and then you can watch the keynote online, of course, like they always have it after the keynote's done, like it is already done. And uh, that's pretty much what it looks like right there. Now we're going to go ahead and go a little bit more in depth into it. So we'll go to, to tech specs, uh, technical uh, specifications, uh, FaceTime camera, bump that up to five megapixels it's going to be 7.31 inches long I mean width the width of it like that well yeah the width of it is that long uh, home button of course I my, I kind of expected that they might get rid of the home button because of all the new hand gestures that they have with um, accessing multitasking and closing documents I thought they might get rid of the home button in this and make the screen just a little bit bigger but they didn't so I'm moving on um, silence screen lock switch you can uh, rotation lock switch uh, you can change that in system preferences volume up and down um, sleep awake button um, uh, I saw another eyesight camera headphone jack right there uh, it's 0.37 inches um, thick and 30 pin connector down here along with the grill speakers. Uh, models comes in Wi Fi and Wi Fi plus 3G. Now it looks. No, Wi Fi plus 4G. Sorry about that. Uh, they just update. Uh, they, uh, this iPad is going to be 4G LTE. So the specs for that is the height is 9.5 inches. Or 24.2, 241.2 millimeters. Width will be 7.31 inches or uh, 8, 185.7 millimeters. The depth or the thickness will be 0.37 inches or 9.4 millimeters. The, the weight will be 1 pound and 46, 1.46 pounds or 662 grams. Uh, you can we'll take a look at the uh, the more into the depth into that. Now everything um, width and height and everything wise on this is exactly the same as it is on the other one. The only thing that's different is that that the weight of this uh, of the Wi-Fi only uh, iPad is 1.44 pounds and or uh, six six hundred and fifty two grams. While the other one was six hundred and sixty two grams. Um, this comes in sixteen thirty two sixty four, and the other one also comes in sixteen thirty two and sixty four. I thought that they might have another upgrade to a higher um, gigabyte storage because uh, more and more people are starting to use their iPads as uh, computers instead of as a tablet or not necessarily a tablet more people are starting to use them more for um, like storage for music movies and documents for work and more of a, a, a computer a substitute computer instead of being like a playful I, large iPod touch type device um, this new iPad has the retina display like the iPhone 4 and 4s and pr uh, the predecessors to this um, it's going to have a 9.7 inch uh, uh, digital LED backlit glossy widescreen multi-touch display with IPS technology. Um, it's going to be 2,048 2, pixels by 1,536 pixels. Roll it, resolution of uh, uh, resolution at 264 pixels per inch. Uh, PPI stands for pixels per inch. Uh, fingerprint uh, resistant um, oleophobic uh, 
coding <laughs> uh, support for display of multi-language and uh, character um, simultaneously. Okay, now we have our uh, dual core Apple A5X custom designed high uh, performance low power system on a chip with quad core graphics. So that's basically saying that they came up with a new chip instead of being called instead of being called uh, they changed the chip name they made a new chip and it's called the A5X chip instead of the A5 chip so they just basically added the X to it and it, they upgraded the graphics it sounds like and it sounds like the dual core it sound it seems like it's going to be maybe a little bit stronger um it says that it looks like it's going to since it says low power um on chip that I um low power system on a chip i think that that means that it's the, i know that that means that it's going to be more uh it's not going to use as much battery life uh the the wi-fi ipad comes with uh with a Wi-Fi one comes with Wi-Fi for over these channels here and then Bluetooth 4.0 technology the um, 3G or no 4G I keep saying 3G I'm sorry guys 4G iPad is gonna have Wi-Fi Bluetooth 4.0 technology along with Wi-Fi plus 4G for AT&T um, model LTE uh, 700 hertz to or 700 or 2100 hertz um a uh, millihertz megahertz i don't know i can't tell um sorry um for verizon model lte as well and it only has 700 megahertz i guess is what it is or millihertz i can't tell um and data only not like that's what it's basically saying and it doesn't look like the iPod uh, iPad is going to go to sprint like the iPhone 4s is has been uh, like ha is allowed on sprint now but it does not look like the iPad um, 4g or HD is going to be supporting sprint as you can see right here it was for its AT&T and Verizon uh, Cameras, photos, and video recording. Five megapixel eyesight camera. Uh, autofocus, tap to focus. Uh, face detection and still images. Video recording HD, uh, 180p up to 30 frames per second with audio. Um, that's uh, a lot better than the previous can camera, which was just 720. This means that it's going to be more, um, and I, that means that it's the video uh, recording. It's talking about the back camera, the one that's five megapixels. I'm pretty sure, uh, not five megapixels, the one that's on the back. Uh, sorry, and um, video, video stabilization, FaceTime camera with VGA quality photos and video at up to 30 frames per second. Uh, photo and video uh, geotagging. I think the geotagging, no, never mind. It's not a new feature, but my, I wasn't sure for a sec there. I thought it might be. Built-in, a uh, 42.5 watt hour, um, 42.5 watt hour chargeable a lithium polymer battery. Up to 10 hours of surf, uh, surfing the web on Wi-Fi, watching video, or listening to music. Uh, charging via power adapter or USB to computer system. It looks like that the battery life might have gone down just a tad because I think I'm pretty sure that even though the iPad two, uh, 2 was um, thinner and everything, I'm pretty sure it was still 12 hours but it looks like that this is only going to be 10 hours so um, that's what it looks like on here. Uh, it says it's, this runs on the same battery uh, this gets up to 10 uh, hours of battery surfing, uh, Wi-Fi, what the web on Wi-Fi, watching video or uh, li listening to music. Gets up to 9 hours of surfing the web uh, 
over cellular network try to be a power adapter or USB to computer system. Um, the next input, input and output, 30-pin uh, dock connector, 35 millimeter headphone jack, built-in speaker, microphone, it's the same thing over here except for a uh, micro SIM card tray for uh, if you for the carrier that you decide to um, purchase with your iPad um, sensors um, accelerometer uh, gyroscope uh, ambient light sensor so it tells it can tell how like bright to have your screen so that it's perfect for your eyes so that it's not too bright in the dark or too dim in the dark so that you can't see it why and then over here a location Wi-Fi and digital compass um, a Wi-Fi, digital compass, assist, assisted GPS, uh, or um, cellular. Um, audio playback. Frequency uh, response is 20 hertz to 20,000 hertz. Uh, audio format supported. Um, it's just whatever you pretty much put into iTunes, basically. Uh, user configuration maximum volume limits, uh, Dolby Digital 5.1 surround sound uh, pass through with Apple Digital AV adapter uh, sold separately, uh, TV and video, AirPlay mirroring to Apple TV uh, second or third generation at 720p. AirPlay video streaming to Apple TV third generation up to 1080p and Apple TV uh, second generation up to uh, 720p. Video uh, mirroring and video out up, uh, out support up to 1080p with Air Apple digital AV adapter uh, for, or a Apple VGA adapter adapt solid uh, Adapters sold separately. Video out supported at um, 576i or 480i with Apple uh, com composite AV cable. Cable sold separately. Uh, video format. This is basically just talking about that kind of stuff. Nothing really that important. Mail attached meant support. Uh, languages. It's, it's probably going to support all the languages that it used to. Maybe add in a few. Uh, they're not gonna, probably gonna, they're not going to be erasing languages most likely. Accessibility uh, has voiceover supports playback of uh, closed caption content, um, assisted assistive touch infer, uh, interface for adaptive access, access accessories. Sorry, full screen zoom magnification, uh, large um, large fonts, white on black display, uh, left right volume dis. Um, Adjustment. Um, system requirements. Um, Apple ID and internet access. Sync with iTunes on a Mac or PC required. Uh, oh, it's not required to sync with a Mac or PC. It says if you are going to sync with a Mac or a PC, or it requires a Mac. Uh, OS X 10.5.8 or later, PC Windows 7, Vista, or XP Home or Professional with Service uh, Pack 3 or later, iTunes 10.6 or later, free download from www.itunes.com slash download. Um, what comes in the box, iPad, dock connector to USB cable, 10 watt USB power adapter and then uh, documentation. Pretty awesome. Uh, built in apps Safari, Mail, Messages, Photos, FaceTime, um, news, Newsstand, Videos to iTunes, App Store, Maps, Music, Game Center, Contacts, YouTube, Photo Booth, Reminders, Calendars, Notes, Camera. And I'm sure there's probably a few more that I didn't cover. Now, um, I know this video is running a little bit long, I think. It's already run 14 minutes. So, that's basically it. It's just basically going to talk more about iOS uh, from the Apple Store, built-in apps, 
uh, features. We'll go check out features once. Um, basically, it just added the retina display um, and added some. It looks like it might have added some new features about. Uh, oh, it's just saying that pictures will look a lot better through these. Um, uh, added retina display, A5X chip, and the eyesight camera. You um, basically the camera is going to be a lot better, so that the since the screen. If you used to have the same screen, it would the pictures. If you ha even if you had um, a, if you kept the smaller screen and had more pixels, it would make the screen um, the picture look a little bit uh, pixely because there won't won't be wouldn't be enough pixels to uh, um, show it on the display. So I think that's one of the reasons why um, they uh, added the better camera and the better screen together. HD video recording up to 1080p um, shoots uh, 5 megapixel still images. It's all in the lenses, so basically it's just the same. It's the same lenses as the i oh I mean f iPhone 4s that just uh, came out a few months ago. Uh, that's basically that ca the camera portion. Um, ultra fast four four uh, G LTE full speed uh, ahead. Four G LTE looks pretty awesome. Um, built with the latest in wireless technology, the new iPad lets you connect to fast data network around the world up to 4G up to 4G LTE so it's obviously going to still connect to 3G if you're in a 3G area but it also gets 4G which is going to be about twice as fast as 3G now up here it talks about battery life and how um, uh, the new iPad features a, a retina display with four times the pixels of the iPad 2 and quad-core graphics how much of uh, it's basically asking you how much battery do you think it has now? Well, it just base it still has 10 hours of battery. It almost has a full 12 hours like it used to. So even at, with all the new features and all the new power that they've been cramming into this new thing, it's still going to run for 10 hours. So basically, it's outstanding. Um, um, no, no more power. They've. It looks like they've been really going for. Uh, it looks like they've really been going for the display in this uh, new iPad because the the new processing chip is basically bumping up the display uh, in graphics, and that's pretty much what I see whenever I look at this. Is basically that Apple's been really working with the display so that it can look a lot better. Okay, now. Uh, let's go back up here, and we're going to look at this. Um, okay, I see. It's showing you the difference in uh, the displays. So if you look here, you can kind of see the pixels, as you can see there. And over here, you can't see the pixels unless you zoom way in like I just did. So it's basically just showing you how... Uh, well that this does with how how much of a difference it makes if you know get what I'm saying library library looks all pixely over there so that's basically all the updates in this new iPad looks like it doesn't seem to have a specific name. It's kind of surprising, the new iPad. So are they just going to, I wonder if they're just going to call it the iPad, or if it's going to be the iPad HD, or what. Um, the Retina Display, the new third generation, it's just, are they just going to call it 
third gen iP iPad or that's what it looks like third gen iPad everything looks crisper and more lifelike that's basically what it, it does so the new iPad features a 5 so it, it, it doesn't really give an exact name of this um, iPad is what it looks like to me um, I think that that's about That's what it looks like to me. Um, okay, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to check out the keynote now. Um, I'll see you guys in my next video. I know I haven't been making a lot of videos lately. I've been so busy with school and everything. And I've been trying to go to the gym a lot more. And so I've just been so busy. And I'm really sorry. But I plan from now on to get my videos out to you guys as soon as possible. And I'll be with you guys all the way with the latest and greatest everything. And I'm planning to maybe purchase this depending on whether I can earn enough money in time for the release. But if I do, I'll plan on having a video up of me um, getting up in the morning, probably a vlog or something like that, of me getting up in the morning and going to get this, because I'm so excited for this thing. Um, I'm probably either going to sell my iPad 2 or uh, sell my iPad 2 and earn some money so that I can get this or uh, work something out. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Rate, comment, subscribe, and peace.